High above North Campus, the rising sun illuminated the hill and served as a beacon guiding new students and their parents to a unique gathering that has been 20 plus years in the making. The annual Legacy Breakfast is a tradition that celebrates the special moment when Cornellians return to campus and release their child into the welcoming arms of their alma mater. Some parents assume their child will want to follow in their footsteps, but in the case of Suzanne Jonker, class of 83, it was a Cornell student host that convinced her daughter to join the Big Red family. I was looking at city schools and really did through Cornell and liked the game and then had a great visit in April after she got accepted. So it was really, really a nice surprise and great to come visit in April and um, she loved it. She had a great host. Her student host was still emailing her about buying books. I mean, just her follow through has been unbelievable. She, she is like the best host of uh, prospective students I've ever heard of. While alums may give Cornell a ringing endorsement, there are other factors at play that can make potential legacy students weary of spending four years on the Hill. Actually, we were here for a visit. Our first visit was um, the beginning of January of this year, and the, and the temperature was 7 degrees. <laughs> it wasn't number one on the list for a while after that. It was Southern schools. <laughs> The unofficial star of the Legacy Breakfast is Bill K, class of 51. Mr. K returns every year to chat with fellow alumni and extend a warm handshake to the freshman class. On move-in day, as the residents of K Hall arrive, they're greeted by the very man who their dorm is named after. The menu for this breakfast is rather modest, but the significance of the meal is much larger than what's on the buffet spread. Under this unassuming tent is a truly special blend of big red nostalgia mixed with youthful excitement and anticipation for memories not yet created.